guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I am in the secret location deep within Long Beach, California, because guess what? Acura is back and they are bringing some changes, some updates and some refreshes to their popular midsize sport luxury sedan. What the heck is that? It's this vehicle right here. This is your changed up, upgraded 2024 Acura TLX this is the A-Spec trim. But before we get into this Apex Blue performance sedan, let's talk about what's going on here. Acura, they really have been doing the business and keeping to their word about bringing precision crafted performance. Now, of course, just a few years ago, we were at the Media Drive in Long Beach Grand Prix for the new TLX Type S, and guess what? There are some changes for 2024 with that top performance model, but guess what? The TLX overall is getting some changes. Now, one of the biggest things is they're gonna make it easier and simpler to purchase the TLX that's right for you. So they're just gonna have three trims now. One of them is gonna be the A-Spec, and what's interesting is that they did some balance of technology and also drivetrain to make those changes. So what I wanna find out is, if you're looking for a midsize luxury sports sedan, and think about it, there's not a ton of midsize sedans out there. Do you go with this A-Spec over the competition? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this Apex Blue, one of my favorite colors from Acura, Apex Blue TLX A-Spec, and find out. Right off the bat, the color. I have always been a firm believer that Apex Blue fits the TLX perfect, hitting that nail right on the head. Now at the front of the business, you're gonna to continue to see that nice, sharp headlight design, the housing itself, the LED daytime running lamp, that chicane daytime running lamp. I love the way they call it a chicane. And if you're wondering, well, what is a chicane? Think about a racetrack, racetrack, chicane, Acura does a lot of racing, especially in the IMSA WeatherTech series. So we have that chicane daytime running lamp. Of course, we're gonna have that multi-LED, that jewel LED headlight design. Very sleek, very sporty. Working our way down on the A-Spec, you do have some gloss black with a little bit of flat black, but the great news is you do have your LED fog lights down below. Now, one of the biggest changes I'm now gonna show you as we slide across the front, check out the Precision Crafted Performance Grill. All new for model year 2024. So you're gonna notice that frameless design, and it's not just the actual grill itself. Notice the front fascia. They actually had to extend this brow a little bit further down because of it being frameless up top. The openings are increased for more airflow. Plus, I think one of the biggest things is that when it comes to that radar technology up front, they cleaned up the front end of the business. So you don't have any kind of plastic plate or anything like that. You just have that iconic Acura badge, which remember has been around since 1986, if you could believe that. But I love the way top portion is gloss black. You got some of that body color in the center. And then just a little bit of flat black on that ginormous opening on the lower grill. Of course, we have the intercooler lurking behind, and that's still gonna be carried over for this model year 2024. You have that two liter turbocharged inline four power plant producing 272 horsepower and made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission. Now, your entry into the TLX will be front wheel drive. The big news and the news that I think is very smart on this A-Spec, when you go A-Spec, no longer is it just a sporty style package. You now get all-wheel drive, that super handling all-wheel drive. So if you want the all-wheel drive, you gotta go A-Spec, which really brings out that sport luxury performance to this particular trim. You'll notice on the bottom portion, the gloss black on the lower lip, but everything else just really has that movement that I've always pointed out from Acura without anything actually moving. I really love the way they bring that style especially with this new grill and how massive the openings are. Now, as we rise up, you do have that long extended hood. It's interesting because I remember being at SEMA in 2019 and seeing the concept for this vehicle, and it almost looked like a rear wheel drive setup 
the way that you had so much real estate in front of the A pillars. And I'm really thinking that that is what makes the front of this car so attractive. It's just that nice, long, low hood drops into that front fascia portion, which remember has been extended and dropped down. And then of course, you're gonna have that peak that rises up and then it evaporates as it gets towards the windshield. Now, as we come around the bend on the A-spec trim for 2024, we have a new wheel style. This was one of the things, and Acura actually talked to their customers on this. Wheel style from previous year, a lot of people felt it didn't fit the A-spec image. So you're getting an A-spec specific wheel, love the V-spoke design, even the details. Acura is all about the details with those gloss black lug nuts. Still shark gray finish. So remember, Acura goes out, they examine a bunch of sharks to really get that perfect color on the wheel. And that's why they call it shark gray on that wheel setup. When it comes to the TLX models, it's all about also cutting down on noise and vibration harshness. So you're gonna find acoustic glass, you're gonna find more sound denning material, even like thicker carpet to really provide a nice, serene driving experience inside the cabin. But of course, with the super handling all wheel drive on this A-spec, it's gonna stick to the asphalt like Gorilla Glue. But definitely think they went phenomenal on the wheel. 19 inch wheel, tires are 255 on the width, 40 series sidewall. And like I said, underneath the hood, two liter turbocharged inline four, 272 horsepower with that 10 speed automatic transmission. Now, as we slide down the rest of the vehicle, of course, you have your A-Spec badge. I've always thought that Acura does some really great styling on their badges. Nice placement, nothing too gaudy, nothing too in your face. You have gloss black on your mirror caps with some of that Apex blue. LED slim and trim up top. You are gonna get a standard size sunroof. Let me know in the comment section if you were hoping on the A-Spec to maybe have a panoramic sunroof. Side of the vehicle, you could clearly see the mid-size setup of this vehicle. If you want compact, that's gonna be Acura Integra. Now on the lower portion, everything is body colored. Love the way it's got that same body line as before in the bottom portion of the doors. Really gives it that nice substance. And one of the things that I think also is wild is how the rear of the vehicle flares out. So I'm gonna have Steven kind of swing around and show you that nice flared out fender, gentle curve, really sleek coming into the trunk area. It almost appears like this is a sport back like the Acura Integra, but you do have a functional trunk. Now, what's interesting is that with the changes that they made to the wheels and with the changes that they made to the front arrow, it's not just aesthetically making these changes. The engineers found that there was a different flow of air, so they had to make some changes to this guy right here. What is this? This is that gloss black, trunklet spoiler. You can see how they kind of extended it out, lowered it a little bit and extended it out to give us that aero balance, that full chicane LED lighting on the taillights. Very, very sharp. Look at the way they kind of drop in that Acura badge. It's not just like a stuck on emblem. You got your, of course, rear facing camera, the super handling all wheel drive badge. And then guess what? We're going to finish off on some changes. One of the biggest things that makes my heart pitter patter that they got rid of, that now we have, is they got rid of those vacuum cleaner style exhausts on the A-spec. So now my heart is pitter pattering because of those exhausts. Nice exhaust finisher on both sides. And it's cool because it's a round opening, but it's got an angle slash cut to it. Really gives it a unique style. And like I said, with the A-spec for the first time, it truly has its own identity. Having the super handling all wheel drive, having some of those aesthetic touches that really are much different from your standard TLX. And then they also cleaned up the lower rear bumper area. But besides that, you'll notice we have our sensing technology in the rear of the vehicle. They have upgraded that to really detect things coming at you at speed. But you know what? It's not just about the outside where we see some changes. Let's get to the inside of the A-Spec TLX and see what's big for 2024. All right, guys, we're inside this all new 2024 Acura TLX A-Spec trim, Apex blue. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I'm looking for a midsize sedan. I want a little luxury. I want a little sport. It seems that Acura 
has made the right changes for me, but what about pricing? So no official pricing is available yet, but let's just use some common sense here and think about how they're eliminating that tech package and that automatically comes standard. So that's how the pricing is gonna be affected on up the trim lines. But I'll have official pricing for you soon, but let's see what are the changes for 2024 in the TLX to the door panels. You're still gonna get the great style, that flat black, soft touch material up top. I love the real aluminum trim that isn't plastic, real aluminum trim. You'll notice for 2024, they got in more stitching. So we have more stitching on that center portion of the door panel there. On the armrest, no gloss black. You do have your ELS Studio 3D premium sound system. And that door pocket is a pretty good size. You could easily get, I would say, two Chipotle burritos, and you know what? Get the guac. Even though guac costs extra, you have extra space there, and a bottle of Dr. Pepper to wash it down. Now, going from the door panel to the dash, the stitching, even in places where they did not have it before, I love the way they're bringing out that extra level of feel, fit, and finish. You'll notice that edge here in the aluminum trim, that's for the ambient lighting, just like on the door panels. And then new for 2024, let me introduce you to that 12.3 inch infotainment system screen. Same placement as before, but now it's grown in size from 10.25 inches to 12.3 inches. Now, let me know in the comment section how you feel about this. It's not a touch screen. You could touch it, it doesn't do anything. You still gotta use the precision crafted touch pad. But to be honest with you, I like that pad because it's very easy to use. Plus, they also quicken the response when you go through the different menus, like I'm gonna bring up the home screen here. They quickened, look how fast that is. They quickened all of the different responses very nicely. You have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, so they got you covered there as well. And then to go right back to navigation, easy peasy. And then of course you got that slide action on the side screen there. So just like before. Now working our way down, we do have dual climate control. You got three stages of heated seats, three stages of ventilated seats. Of course, we have our dynamic mode controller. Watch the screen. You go into your different modes. Actually, I can't go into the different modes because we're not driving. I'm so used to going on throttle in these things. But you twist the dynamic mode controller to go into your different modes. This is going to control your 10-speed automatic transmission. And the great news is this is the only gloss black in the TLX A-Spec. I do appreciate that. There's that precision crafted performance touchpad. I don't mind it. It works great. You got a real volume knob, a nice place to rest your hand after a hard day of work. You have your wireless charging, two cup holders, nice soft material, the stitching. Open it up. I got a USB-C, a USB-A, and a 12 volt. And you have enough room in there, I would say for 30 packs of Garbage Pail Kids. I remember fifth grade, my dad took all my Garbage Pail Kids away because I brought them to school. He still hasn't given them back to me. So hopefully you still have yours. You could keep the packs in here. Adam Bomb, Ray Gunn, the whole group of them. I think they're going for hundreds and hundreds of dollars on eBay. And then the seats, just like before, the material, the Alcantara microfiber suede, the red stitching. Of course, we have electric assist for the passenger, electric assist for the driver. And like I mentioned before, we still have our standard size sunroof. I think it should be panoramic, so I am gonna zonk that. But why don't you come over here to the business end because I have something new and 12 inches I wanna show you on this A-Spec. All right, guys, business time where you wanna be sitting in this driver's seat. You still have two memory seat settings. That means if you're lucky enough to have a friend, you can let them share and borrow your TLX A-Spec. I wouldn't let them, especially now with it being standard all-wheel drive in this A-Spec trim. You have that tasteful A-Spec sill plate, nice aluminum sill plate. Pedal box right out of a freaking race car. I love the aluminum dead pedal brake pedal and throttle, and you have, I'm gonna peel this back, even though I'm not supposed to, I'm gonna peel this back. We have the A-Spec badging and the red piping on the floor mats. That's worth an extra five horsepower in my book. And then of course the seat controls, lower lumbar, nice touches. And that's the thing is, remember, Acura goes for the fine details. They leave no stone unturned. Sitting here in the driver's seat, I'm six feet tall, have plenty of room, but yet I still feel sporty. I don't feel like I'm in this open vacuum of space. And I like that. Steering wheel, 
right. It almost feels like the steering wheel out of the freaking NSX. I love the leather, the two-piece leather, perforated, the red stitching. You got the A-spec badge. The thickness is spot on the money. You have paddles on the back of the steering wheel to go up and down that 10-speed automatic transmission. Of course, we have our different things when it comes to uh, thumb controls. And then there it is, nice and large, 12.3-inch infotainment system, digital gauge display, all the different functions. So you have the nice new digital gauge cluster, which is 12.3 inches, and the infotainment system. But it looks fantastic in that space. And then, of course, it changes up with the different modes. And you have your little accurate TLX in the center, which is kind of cute. But why don't we go ahead, let's get into the back seat and see if there's still plenty of room in there for your passengers in the TLX. All right, guys, backseat time in this Acura TLX A-Spec. And I'm telling you right now, I really love the room, the way the seat is angled back, and the way the seat material is exactly the same as up front. Now, you have these large pockets here. Easily put an abacus, maybe a back scratcher back here. And then check it out. We have AC vents and two USB-C. So thank you, Acura, for bringing us some nice warm or cool air and the ability to charge our accessories in the back but sitting back here feels great you have your center armrest super soft two cup holders and a place for your track day twinkie but why don't we go ahead let's get into the trunk so we could wrap it up in this TLX. All right guys, time to get in the trunk. One of the things I love on the TLX is where they hide the button to open up the trunk nicely placed on that passenger side rear taillight lens area. You push it, you open it up, and this is where you're gonna get that generous amount of room. And what I love is how Acura takes these handles so that you can easily fold down the rear seat. It's a 60-40 split. You don't have to go over to the passenger door to get the seat down. And this is what makes sedans still very usable in the day and age of SUVs. And remember, when you go sedan, you're actually gonna have a better handling vehicle over an SUV because of the lower center of gravity. And boy, oh boy, you're gonna have a good looking vehicle compared to an SUV. But while we go ahead, I know you wanna go for the first drive. I wanna take you for a drive. We're gonna be bringing it to you, but we're at this secret location and we need to get to the car that's on the other side because I know you wanna see it. So let's wrap it up. All right, guys, it's been a very exciting experience being here at this secret location in Long Beach and being able to show you all the details on the new TLX A-Spec in particular. We gotta thank the whole Acura team, especially the legend, the man, the myth, Jonathan Rivers, for getting us the access to these vehicles and really bringing that Acura excitement. But let me know down in the comment section, do you think now that the Acura, A the Acura TLX A-Spec has its own identity, not only with a sportier appearance, than your standard TLX, but now with that standard super handling all-wheel drive. Let me know down in that comment section, but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Razor Rides family. Of course, we need to give it up Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography. He loves Hondas, he loves Acuras. He actually has a tattoo of the Acura badge on his right bicep that he only shows certain people. So if you run into Stephen Flood, ask him to flex and get swole to show you that Acura badge. So thank you, Stephen, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.